guys and welcome back to my channel and yet another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Tanex TX3 Max Android TV box. I'm going to be having a close look at the specifications, the main features and see if this 4K TV box is indeed any good. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Return of Subscribers and if you're new, you know what to do, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button to stay updated on all my new uploads too. And well, let's get into the unboxing real quick, but first of all, let me just thank GearBest.com for sending me this Android TV box today. They have some great technology and I'll be sure to leave some GearBest gadget links in the description down below that may interest you. But right now, let's see what we have. Get to the fast forward mode. Well, what do we have? On the top, we have the label, which is the Tanex TX3 Max Android TV box. Moving to the front, we have some of the specifications that are listed. And to the right hand side of the box, we have some print that states that this Tanex TV box comes with Alice UX. Moving for a closer look inside, we have one English user manual, one infrared remote control that takes two AAA batteries, one HDMI cable that is a length of 95 centimeters, one charger power adapter, that is also a length of 95cm and lastly we have the Android TV box. Looking closely at this Tanex TV box, oh nice! To the rear we have multiple port connections for different possibilities including an AV port, SPDIF port, an RJ45 port with a port speed of 100 megabytes per second, a HDMI port 2.0 and a DC power port. Also, looking to the right hand side of this Android TV box, we have one TF card port which can hold a memory card up to 128GB and two USB 2.0 ports ideal for gaming pads, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, memory stick or webcam for video chat. This Tanex TX3 box looks superb with its soft matte black casing with gloss black detail. Underneath there doesn't seem to be any visual air vents but does come with four sturdy rubber protectors. The front screen has a digital display that shows the time, connections and video function details. Internally, this TV box has an Amalogic S905W processor, quad-core CPU, Mali 450 GPU, running Android 7.1, 2GB DDR3 RAM and 16GB EMMC ROM, which really shouldn't give any slow running problems, should easily support 4K resolution and with its wireless Bluetooth 4.1 connections, this Tanex TX3 should be a great TV box. So without further ado, let's add the batteries to the remote control. Then let's go ahead and connect this TX3 TV box via the HDMI cable provided to the Sony TV. Insert the power adapter. And all that's left to do is simply power on. As the TV box powers up, you'll see the very cool Tanex logo and the hand that comes out of the screen to grab it. You would then be greeted with some basic settings such as language, time zone, display, network and remote. From here we're just going to go ahead and set up the wireless network real quick. And once that network connection is sorted, we're then going to continue and breeze through the remote control instructions. And then select finish to have access to the Tanex main menu. Now compared to a few TV boxes which I've reviewed in the past on my channel, this main screen looks really clean, clear and well set out. With the three tabs to the left, you have fast access to many features and apps already built into this TV box. And for example, as you can see here, I'll list a few such as Google Chrome, Image Gallery, Kodi, Music, Mobdro, Miracast, Netflix, Video Call, YouTube, and here we have the settings. This is where I can confirm that this Tanex TX3 TV box is indeed all set up and already updated and is running Android Nugget 7.1. So with absolutely nothing to update on this system, we'll back up real quick and have a look at some apps. Well, like I said, this TV box has Alice UX Lite Edition built in, Play Store, Netflix, YouTube and Google Chrome. So let's just go ahead and select Alice UX and then we'll go through to Kodi. Now the Kodi on this TV box system is ready to go with access already given to movies, TV shows and sports through some add-ons already added. And to see if this works correctly, I'm just going to choose any sports channel. We're going to choose NFL. And within a few seconds, the streaming begins. You can't handle the truth. That's what Colonel Nathan R. Jessup said 25 years ago in a film that taught us... And I must say, I already noticed how clear, smooth and sharp the picture and audio is. 
We will come back to streaming performances in a bit, but first let's go to Google Play Store. In some instances, you will need to use the mouse button or the remote control. And even though I'd say this hardware from remote control has a pretty good signal to the TV box, I would make it clear that the mouse option is slow and can be somewhat annoying. But not to fret, you too can purchase one of these bad boys I have right here from GearBest.com. It's a wireless keyboard with built-in mousepad and trust me, it makes manoeuvring around so much better and easier with one of these things. If you do go ahead and purchase one, just simply open the back, take out the USB dongle, insert it into the TV box USB port and you will be good to go. For example, I'm just going to use the mousepad and I'm going to search and download Geek Benchmark and the game Asphalt Airborne 8. But let's go ahead and let's go back to the streaming performances. Netflix, as expected, is a doddle and very fast, playing each movie clear in just a few seconds. I did skip forward quite a bit with this movie I selected, and okay, for a moment it was a bit pixelated, but clears up within moments. The same could be said with YouTube. Heading over to my channel, go get yours. Clicking play, it's fast with not much buffering at all. Up until now, I'm very impressed. And does it have any channels I hear you say? Well, I'm pleased to confirm yes. You can access a huge range of channels packed into the TV box through the module app already installed on this box. From this app, you'll be seconds away from watching your favorite channels, categories like cartoons, movie premieres, boxing, Sports and many more. Now, if you guys and girls that like a bit of news, gossip, or want to do a bit of shopping online, then you can use the Google Chrome that's already built in. Okay, the pace won't be that of a PC, phone, or laptop, but I did find myself using it, and I didn't find myself getting that much irritated. I managed to update my website with cool tech ideas to buy, even made some purchases of GearBest.com. It handled the task of having multiple windows open at the same time and didn't crash or reset once, unlike some other TV boxes that I've reviewed in the past. <clears throat> S10 TV box versus baseball bat? Check that video out later. In addition to all of this, one added bonus is that there is a mirror link. You can access this real easy and you are greeted with a super easy animation that gives you instructions on how to connect your gadgets and devices streaming your content to this TX3 TV box. Now the gaming side of things. Now this Asphalt Airborne 8 racing game is downloaded. It's time to get the racing gear on and test the gaming out on this TV box. And here we go. Go with the Nevada level. level. Let's go for this, let's go for this, let's go for this, let's go for this. Come on, come on, come on, we need to win that Nitros. Aw, oh, you sucker. Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, this guy thinks he can catch me. Get way back, man. Ah! Come on, dirt roll now. I'm gonna dirt in my car. I need a car wash after this. Now. Oh, loving that. Look at that spin, yo. Look at that. I'll be back. Who's in I'm gonna be there. Oh, this is mine. This wait, this race has to be mine. It's gonna be criminal otherwise. Ready for this one of it? With all the streaming, gaming, and web surfing doing pretty good, it's time to see where this TV box lies on the benchmark test. So now the Geek Benchmark is fully concluded, the test has some significant results. It comes up with a single core score of 479 and a multi core score of 1253. Well, that's kind of crazy. I mean, for this score and for this TX3 TV box to be taking care of business like it has, it's kind of bamboozled me somewhat. But hey, for what this TV box has to offer, I'm more than pleased for what it actually does. Now, as usual, I'm going to give you my verdict out of 10 for this TV box. So, what would I give this TX3 Max TV box out of 10? Well, drum rolls, please. Well, I'm going to give this Tanix TX3 box. Nine out of ten. Well, I've got to give this TV box nine out of ten for its solid case and good looks. I can't really find much to moan about, to be honest, about this TV box. 
and I did take one point off simply because as I had to purchase an Android game controller for this TV box as I couldn't find the right emulator to work with any other controllers that I already had. But that's about it really. I've been using this for over two weeks myself and I haven't had a problem. It streams videos quite fast and I've left it playing throughout the night with video content still playing by the time I've woke up in the morning. So yes, this is excellent compared to other TV boxes that I've reviewed. With this particular TV box, the Tanex TX3, I would absolutely thumbs up recommend. So guys, don't forget to share. Please smash that like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace. Inside of the box we have some print that states that this TV box comes with Alex. Alex?